So the PlayStation Store has been down for some time now, and finally it's back up. Sony wants you to be happy, so in the States they're offering us two of the following games for free. Dead Nation, Infamous, Little Big Planet, Super Stardust HD, and Wipeout HD Fury. But which of these games should you get, and which one should you just skip? If you don't already own the two breakout titles on this list, the answer is simple. But most PS3 owners already own Little Big Planet and Infamous. So if you don't, there you go. As for the rest of us, that really puts us at three. Dead Nation, Super Stardust HD, and Wipeout Fury. Which one's worth Sony's money though? Dead Nation is a third person zombie shoot 'em up with a camera view kind of like Diablo. The game's dark and disturbing, the campaigns are long, and killing scorns of mindless zombies is always a good time. But there's no bosses in this game and the overall goal is to get from destination A to destination B. After a while it can get a bit repetitive and a bit boring. That's why I'm going to have to give Dead Nation a 7 out of 10. Super Stardust HD is a throwback to old 80s games back when I either didn't exist or was just super young and apparently games were much harder. This game is literally asteroids in high definition, which I don't think I get to say because Stardust itself is an old school game, so it's not really a knockoff of any game more popular than itself. Anyways, this game is literally shooting asteroids in this ship. Unlike Dead Nation though, this game has bosses. If you grew up in an era where that wasn't part of the norm, this game may be a welcome change to all those games with stories and whatnot. Or I suppose if you were really into these games when you were growing up, this one might be for you as well. It's not really my taste though, and I'm going to have to give it a 6 out of 10. Wipeout HD Fury. Okay, what can I say? I'm guilty of a little nostalgia. Back in the day, Wipeout was one of my favorite games growing up, and this new installment is shiny and prettier than its previous installments. This game is fast, and you really feel a sense of speed in this futuristic floating spacecraft of the future that you race in in this game. The look of this game is beautiful, and in my opinion, it's a good buy. 8 out of 10. Okay, so in a nutshell, Little Big Planet and Infamous, if you don't already own them. If you're into futuristic racing games, which I am, Wipeout HD Fury is a solid choice. Then in my own personal opinion, I'd have to go with Dead Nation next, and then Super Stardust HD. And Sony, it's good to be back.